In Brooklyn 45, a gripping mystery tinged with elements of horror, the stage is set on a chilling December night in 1945 within the confines of a Brooklyn brownstone overflowing with military relics. The residence belongs to Clive, Larry Fessenden, who recently lost his wife and has gathered a select group of World War II comrades, hoping to lift their spirits. However, when Clive, fueled by alcohol, insists on conducting a seance to communicate with his departed wife, it becomes abundantly clear that this gathering is anything but a jovial reunion. More of Who Done What than a traditional Who Done It, the plot, crafted by director Ted Gogan, unfurls through thought-provoking monologues that expose the characters' deep-seated prejudices and biases. Each member of the ensemble cast has a story to tell and undergoes a transformative journey, Marla, and Ramsey, a resilient bombing survivor with formidable interrogation skills, Bob, Ronnie, Reigns, a seemingly unassuming Pentagon clerk with hidden depths, Archie, Jeremy Home, a closeted war hero whose past may hide criminal secrets, and the belligerent Paul, Ezra Buzzington, a uniformed xenophobe still haunted by the horrors of the battlefield. As the seance unfolds, Gogan employs paranormal theatrics, complete with self-igniting candles, eerie ectoplasm, and more, to illuminate the invisible scars of war. Trapped within a locked room, compelled to follow the increasingly deranged instructions of Clive's late wife, the once comfortable friends descend into a maelstrom of confessions and accusations. The demons lurking within them prove to be more destructive than any supernatural forces the seance might have conjured. Brooklyn 45 a period piece brought to life with authentic vintage aesthetics by cinematographer Robert Patrick Stern, is a film that, at times, stretches its duration, repeats certain elements, and occasionally feels excessively staged. Nevertheless, the actors deliver impeccable performances, skillfully transforming unsavory characters into individuals struggling to escape the relentless grip of a war that refuses to release its hold on them.